This is the Explanatory Model Analysis podcast about various techniques for explainable artificial intelligence. I describe methods for visualization, exploration and explanation of machine learning models. This episode is about the Ceteris Paribus Profiles. In this episode I will show you how to use the Ceteris Paribus Profiles implemented in the Dalek package for the R language. If you are interested in examples for Python or other XAI methods, you can find other episodes at tiny.cc forward slash Dalek web page. Before we jump into the R code, let me remind you what Ceteris Paribus profiles are for. Like Breakdown and Shapley values, it's a model agnostic and instance specific method. It means that it works for any model without assuming anything of its internal structure, and it explains the result of the model for a single observation. Ceteris paribus is a Latin phrase meaning other things held constant, or all else unchanged. CP profiles show how the model response would change if values for a single variable is changed for the instance of interest. This technique may be used for sensitivity analysis or to what-if model analysis. In this slide we have an example for a single passenger, the eight-year-old boy from the first class. The model prediction for him is 0.466. Keeping all other variables unchanged, increasing the age lowers the expected chance of survival. Changing the gender to a woman would increase the predicted chances of survival. For such a young age, a change of class would not change chances of survival. It is important to remember that we need a causal model to do causal inference for real-world phenomena. CP profiles are about the behaviour of the model, which may not be transferred to the behaviour of the analysed process. Let's see how to do such Ceteris Paribus profiles in R. This video is focused on the software. If you want to learn more about the method, find more details on pabeatric.github.io forward slash EMA. As in other episodes, I will use the Titanic data and a classification random forest model trained with the Ranger library. Note that the Ceteris Paribus method is model agnostic, so you can try the same workflow with any other model you wish. Different models have different structures. We use the explain function from the Dalek package to create a model adapter with unified API. You can find more details about this function in episode 2. The Ceteris Paribus profiles work on the instance level so we need an observation for which we can generate the explanation. Here we create a data frame with a single row that corresponds to an eight years old boy from first class. The model prediction for this boy is 0 0.465. Once we have the model and the instance of interest, we are ready for the Ceteris Paribus method. Here we use the predict profile function from the Dalek package. The name of the function means that we analyze response profiles for a prediction. In the basic settings this function expects two arguments, the explainer and one or more observations. The result is a data frame with profiles for each variable used in the model. One can limit the number of variables for which profiles are calculated with the optional argument variables. A plot is easier to read than a table with numbers. You can use the generic plot function to visualize the model response. Each variable is presented in a different panel. Many variables can obfuscate the plot. The argument variables can be used to specify which variables shall be presented. This is the ggplot object, 
So you can use ggplot2 functions to change the plot. For example, ggtitle to add a title or theme to change the skin. ggplot2 does not allow to draw continuous and categorical variables simultaneously. By default, only continuous variables are drawn. To plot categorical variables, you have to list them directly in the argument variables. By default, the predict profile function calculates the model response for a small grid of points. If you want a more detailed profile, you may manually specify the grid of points in which the profiles are to be calculated. In this case, you should indicate a list with grids of points using the argument variable splits. For a random forest model, the response is a step function. But you need a very dense grid of points to see these steps. The predict profile function calculates profiles for one or more observations. In this example, we calculate and plot profiles for John and Mary. If the model was additive, the Ceteris Paribus profiles for observations would be parallel. But the random forest model is not additive. For John, the higher is the age, the lower are model predictions. For Mary, regardless of the age, the predictions of the model are very high. The Ceteris Paribus profiles can be used to compare different predictive models. To show this functionality, we will use the LRM function from the RMS package to build a logistic regression model with splines. Then we transform this model with the predict profile function and visualize the profile with the plot function. We see that the logistic regression model for John gives much higher predictions. The response curve of the model is also much smoother, although in shape similar to a random forest. The general workflow with the Ceteris Paribus method is summarized in this sequence diagram. Once you have a model, you need to create a model adapter. To calculate the Ceteris Paribus profiles, you can use the predict profile function. The result can be visualized with the generic plot function. Find more examples and more details in the Exploratory Model Analysis ebook. The list of all episodes is available on the website tiny.cc forward slash Dalek. If you have any question or comment related to this topic, please let me know.